Did you know you can connect Run My Process with Salesforce in just minutes and automate key processes? In this video, we'll show you how to do it step-by-step -step from configuration to record creation. Let's get to work. In the project, we go to the Connectors section and create a new provider to manage the authentication process with Salesforce. This provider must be configured in all three environments, Acceptance, Test, and Live, ensuring consistent functionality across all stages of the project. We assign the name Salesforce Auth to the provider, making it easy to identify within the project. The URL we use for this provider is https login.salesforce.com which is Salesforce's official endpoint for user authentication. Next, we define the authentication scheme as login password, where we input the appropriate credentials for our Salesforce account. This step is essential to establish communication between our application and Salesforce, allowing us to authenticate and retrieve the access token needed for future interactions. Once we have saved the provider, the next step is to create the connector. We go back to the connector section and select New Connector. Here, we configure the connector that will handle obtaining the authentication token from Salesforce. In the connector URL field, we use services slash OAuth2 slash token, which is the endpoint for the authentication flow. We set the architecture to REST XML RPC, define the method as POST, and specify that the result format will be XML. For the content configuration, we select the content type as application slash dep dep form URL encoded and add the required body, including parameters such as grant type, client ID, and credentials. This connector will make the request and return the token we'll use to authenticate future calls to Salesforce. With the connector configured, now we're going to test it to make sure it's working correctly. We select the launch test option, which sends a request to Salesforce's endpoint. In the test result, we look for the access token in the response. This token will be crucial as we'll use it later to authenticate our REST calls to Salesforce. It's that simple. Pure magic in just a few seconds. Now we're going to create a provider to perform CRUD operations in Salesforce using a connected app. In the provider configuration, we specify the general structure of Salesforce's base URL. This structure starts with Salesforce's domain and is followed by the necessary path for operations, such as slash services slash data vxx.x. We select the authentication scheme as custom and define the scheme name as bearer, as we will use the previously generated access token to authenticate requests. Next, we input the credentials in the form of a token to enable communication with Salesforce. Finally, we configure the name of the connector to easily identify it within the project. This allows us to efficiently perform operations such as creating, updating, deleting, or querying data in Salesforce. Let's create the connector for the create operation in Salesforce. In connectors, we select new connector and configure the URL with the structure slash services data v490 subjects your app name e slash. We define the architecture as REST XML RPC, the method as POST, and the result format as XML. We also set the content type to application JSON to handle data in this format. We add an example content with fields like username core C, first name C, and email C. After saving, the connector is ready to use. After testing the connector, we see in the results that the request was successful. The connector returns a unique ID, confirming that the record was created successfully. Now we go to Salesforce to verify the object. As you can see, the record was created with all the data we sent from Run My Process. This highlights how powerful and efficient Run My Process is for integrating with applications like Salesforce and many others. Ready to explore more integrations.